Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we're going to learn a easy and fast way to find the day of the week for any date. You can use this trick on your parents, friends and your family. Ask them a date and find the day of the week for it. First, you need to remember these three things. The day of the week code, the month key value and the century calendar. To remember the month key value, first split it into three parts. Three, three, three numbers. The, the first three numbers are 1, 4, 4 and the last three numbers are 1, 4, 6. And the middle number is 0, 2, 5 and the next middle number is 0, 3, 6. You can split it into three and remember it like this. For the century calendar, the 1600s is 6, 1700s is 4, 1800s is 2, 1900s is 0 and the 2000s is 6. As you notice something over here, it's 6 minus 2 is the 1700s, 1600s, which is 6, and the 6 minus 2 is the 1700s code, which is 4. And same with the others, 4 minus 2 is 1800s, which is 2. And next, 2 minus 2 is the 1900s, which is 0. And you follow this pattern like this so for example the 2006 and after and it goes on let's see the days of the week code sunday is one monday is two tuesday is three wednesday is four thursday is five friday is six and saturday is zero you need to remember these eight simple steps in order to find the day of the week for any date. Let's try an example. Jan 13, 2028. First, write the last two digits of the year. The last two digits of 2028 is 28. So, we write 28. Next, it says to divide that number by 4 and drop the remainder. So we do 28 divided by 4. 4 times 7 is 28. So we do 28 minus 28 which is 0. We drop the remainder and take the quotient which is 7. Next it says to add the number with the day of the month. So 7 plus the day of the month, which is 13. So we do 7 plus 13, which is 20. Next, it says to add that number with the month key value for the month. The month key value. Okay, this is the month key value. The month over here is January. So we find January on the month key value which is over here. The month key value for Jan is 1. So we add 20 plus 1, which is 21. Next, it says to subtract 1 for January or February for a leap year. First, what is a leap year? A leap year, in a leap year, there are 366 days. But in a normal year, there's only 365 days. And in a leap year, the month February has 29 days. While in, in a normal year, the month February only has 28 days. It says subtract 1 for January or February for a leap year. First, let's check if 2028 is a leap year. It is because 2028 is divisible by 4. And it says subtract 1 for January or February. We have the month January, so we subtract 1 from 21. So we do 21 minus 1, which is 20. If 
the year is not a leap year, you can skip this step. Or if you have a leap year and the month is not January or February, you can skip this step also. Next, it says to add it with the century code. The century code. Okay, the year is 2028. The two, 2028 is in the 2000, so we find 2000 on the century calendar, which is over here. And 2000's code is 6. So we do 20 plus 6, which equals 26. Next, it says to add it with the last two digits of the year. The last two digits is 28. So we do 26 plus 28, which equals 54. Then, finally, it says to divide it by 7 and take only the reminder. The reminder is the code for the day of the week. So we divide 54 by 7. Okay. 7 times 7 is 49. So we minus 54 minus 49, which gives us 5. Which gives us 5. So we find 5 on the day of the week code table. 5 is over here. So 5 is Thursday. So January 13, 2028 is a Thursday. Isn't this trick so simple? Thanks for watching!